it is easy to extract data from documents using document understanding from UiPath. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. So this is going to be a very quick run through of the basics of building uh, a project in document understanding. I'm not going to go through everything, but I am making a series of videos where I'll go through each of the different steps in much more detail. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and also give this uh, video a like if you like it. And if you have any questions or requests, put them in the comments below. Um, I read those comments and usually respond to them. I try at least. So um, let's jump into the platform here. What I have here is basically an empty uh, cloud automation platform. All I've done is I have gone into the admin section and selected my tenant, then gone to services, and then I've activated three services so far, AI Center, Document Understanding, and Insights. I could have also activated Actions, uh, but I'll do that in a later video because we won't need it in this one. So with that done, we can press F5. That will give us these new uh, services in our uh, menu over here on the left, and I'll click Document Understanding. When we get into document understanding, we can do two things. We can create an automation or we can create a project. Creating an automation is really the quickest way to extract data from a document. But I kind of want to give you an impression of what happens uh, behind the scenes. So we'll create a project instead. And here we will select to create a modern project. And there's a difference between classic and modern, of course. And I've done videos on the classic version. You can find links uh, to those in the comments below. But the modern is just a much faster way to get things done. So I'll just uh, name this my project. Select modern project and click create. And this is sort of our project uh, main page. What we can do here is we can do four things. We can build a project, we can measure it, we can publish it, and we can monitor it. And in this video, we'll focus on uh, building it. Uh, and then we get into details about the other stuff in other videos. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to define a document type. So I click Add Document Type up here on the top right. I will select uh, that this is a custom model. I could select from a number of different uh, predefined models that would handle purchase orders or invoices or whatever very well. But we're going to build a model from scratch here. And I will call this one, let's call this one Orders. And click Add. Then uh, here in the uh, orders section, I can click on these three dots here and I can click the document type manager. And this is where I will tell our project what are the fields that I'll be looking for inside these documents. And um, can, we can take a quick look at one of my documents. These documents are in Danish, but it doesn't really matter because document understanding can handle it. These are just purchase orders. Um, you know, from, from a company we have, uh, an order date, we have a purchase order number, we have, you know, the products, you know, quantities, unit prices, stuff like that. So uh, that, that's just so you know what's what's going on, what we're working with here. So what we want to extract is a number of fields. We'll also want to extract a table. So I select add table down here and then click it. And then we can define the different columns that were in that table of products that we wanted to extract. So we will go with uh, line total as a field. We'll create that as a number. We will add another column. We will type in quantity. That will also be a number. We'll add another column. That'll be unit price, also a number. And then we'll add a column for the product and name. That'll be a string. And we can also add product ID, and that will also be a string. So those are the fields of my table. And then I want to add just a couple of tables sort of to the order header that we want to extract. Um, so I will click add field up here and we can just put in PO number, that'll be a string and add another one, we'll call that date. And funny enough, that will be a date. So I'll click save and I'll go back. And now we have the definition of what is it we want to extract from these orders. So in order to teach or train this project or this model, um, how to extract uh, data from these types of documents. We'll need to show them a sample of those documents. So I'll click Browse here. I'll select, let's say, the top, what's that, seven, eight, seven uh, documents. 
and I'll click open. And that will add these documents to uh, our project. And we can see that it says uploaded over here. And now it'll start processing those documents. And one by one, they'll switch a status to being, I think, available in just a second. And now we can see they start turning green. That's very nice. And now they are all available. What we can do now is we can then go into these documents and show our project or our machine learning model exactly where these fields are to be found that we want to extract. So by um, we'll do that by clicking this button up here, the annotation button. And that will show us the different documents that we just imported into the project. And um, it's actually already quite good at this. Um, you can, we can see over here on the right, we have the fields and we also have the suggestions for the values that the model already now thinks that are the you know, correct values. And this is based on a Gen AI that simply says, okay, what are the names of the fields that you know, uh, Yebe wants to extract? And then it kind of looks for fields that could be those types of fields inside of the document and then suggests them to me. So if I scroll through this list over here, I can see that the date uh, field, it suggests uh, March 17th. And that is actually uh, the correct uh, date. This is the order date. And the PO number is also the right day, uh, number up here. And then we can see the product IDs. We can see the product names, the unit prices, quantities, and line totals. And they all match perfectly the document. So we don't even need to do any marking here. Now, if it had made a mistake and, or couldn't find a field, we could simply, for example, for the line total, we could mark all of those fields over here. And then we could click this Q or we could simply press Q on the keyboard. And then that would confirm that those are the actual values. We can also, since it actually has gotten everything right, we can just press confirm down here. When we do that, we can see that the document over here in this document list gets a little green shield. And that means that all the fields that we want to extract have now been labeled or annotated in that specific document. And then we can go to the next document. And we can see that it has done the exact same thing. And we are very happy with the result. This, this is unusual that it does it this well uh, without knowing any of the documents in advance. So I'll just click Confirm, go to the next document, and we can see it got it all right again. And I want you to note one thing. Up here in the top, it says Training Not Started. That's because all of these extractions or suggestions are based on what it thinks. Once it starts training the model, and that's basically it, or the project, running through what we've told it about, where these fields are, and generating a bunch of statistics and stuff like that on that. Um, once it has trained, the model will know better where to find these things uh, going forward. So uh, I'll just keep going through my documents over here on the left and, and just confirm that everything looks right. We have three products in this one. We can see everything matches over here. I'll click Confirm. Go on to the next one. Everything looks is really good. And pretty soon we should see this training that started switch to um, training in progress, I think. Yeah, training in progress. And that means now it's actually kind of uh, going through all of the confirms that I gave it and, and then uh, generating a new model or new version of itself. And now we have annotated all of the documents. If we go out to the measure tab here, and I'm just going to go through this very, very briefly. Right now, we can see up here that it doesn't have um, a project score. The project score is basically um, the project's own sort of opinion of how good it is at extracting um, stuff from these types of documents. And that score will change once this training um, has completed. And that'll take a few minutes. So I'm going to go get some coffee and we'll let this finish. And when it's finished, I'll come back. And we're back, but it now has a score. It evaluated itself or scored itself at an 87. So it thinks it's pretty good at extracting uh, data from these uh, types of documents. And I would tend to agree. So now we can go on to the third tab here and we can publish this uh, extractor as it's called. So I'll create a project version up here. I'll just call it extractor. And if I had more uh, models or more uh, document types, I could include them. I only have orders, so that's fine. And I'll click Create. And now that I've created a version, we can see here that the Deployed button is not active. So if I enable that, now it's deployed. 
you don't have to wait, you know, for sometimes hours for AI Center to do a lot of training and stuff and publishing and, and whatnot, you know, the way things used to be in the classic uh, version. Now it's ready to go. So now we can actually build an automation on this model. So in Studio Web, I can create a new project. And what I want to do is just a manual automation. We're going to run this just by starting it manually, right? Um, and what I want to do is I want to get a document that is stored inside of a storage bucket. And then I want to extract the data from that document and present it on the screen. So I'll go uh, very quickly. I will open uh, Orchestrator. And inside Orchestrator, I'm going to click my shared folder here. We're going to click storage buckets. We don't have any storage buckets, so I'm going to create a new storage bucket. We can call it orders. And then inside the orders storage bucket, I'll upload a new file. That will be, let's take the last of these files in my folder on my desktop. So this is a document that this machine learning model or document understanding model hasn't seen before. It has seen documents like it, but not this specific document. So it will all be based on its its training. So um, we'll upload the document. And then we'll go back to Studio Web. What I'll want to do is add an activity to download a storage file. We want to get that storage file from my shared folder. And we have the orders uh, storage bucket. And now we can select that specific document. You wouldn't do that in real life. You'd have it you know, traverse a, a folder for all of the files in there, but we just have one file right now. The next thing we want to do is we want to extract the data from that file. So I'll add another uh, activity and that will be extract document data. You can see this is a document understanding activity. So I'll add that. Now I can select what document understanding project do I want to use. I want to use the my project project and inside the My Project project, I want to use an extractor, and we only have one that's called extractors underscore orders v1. That's the one we deployed a few minutes ago. And we can see here what fields we can extract using that extractor. Then we'll select the input, and the input is going to be the file that we got from our storage bucket. And that's it. So the final thing we want to do is we want to add a log message. So I'll just put in log message. And what we want to write in that log message is simply going to be the document data that is extracted in the extract document data activity that we have right above this one. So that's it. Now we are ready to run our automation. So if I run this, we'll see uh, the execution uh, panel out here on the right side. And we can see also inside of our sort of canvas here, we'll see uh, that as each uh, activity is executed, that we'll see that it ran uh, successfully. And right now it's trying to extract the data using the extractor that we just built. And in just a second, we should see the data being printed over here on the right. Let's see if that happens. And there we go. We have the uh, date, we have the PO number, and we have all of the products, including their product IDs, product names, quantities, unit prices, and line totals. And that was me building a document understanding project and an automation and it took, what, 15 minutes or less, and that's even with me explaining everything along the way. So this was just a very quick demo. Document understanding is better than ever. It's very user-friendly. It's very uh, maintenance-friendly. Also, you can have actually people from the business building these models, and then you can build the automation, or they can build simple automations themselves. So as I said, I'm making a series on document understanding, the modern experience. Uh, that's going to be a lot more detailed. It'll be like four or five videos. It's coming out soon, so if you like this video, I hope you did, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Then you can watch the, the entire series when that comes out. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube will actually tell you when those videos are out. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.